Hey you guys, we are back in the bathroom. So y'all, everybody in my household has mini twist ends or mini braids. And by everybody, I just mean my husband and I'm a little jealous. So I'm about to put some in my head. I am on a mission to grow my hair back for it to be a lot healthier, thicker, longer, fuller, all of the above than what it originally was because I did cut it, if you don't know, last month, like around four to five inches. And I my length back. I want my thickness back. I want my length back. I want it all back. Let me go ahead and show you guys everything that I'm using today, including hair, leave-in conditioner, brushes, combs, all that great stuff. All right, you guys, today I'm keeping things super simple, going in with my Way leave-in conditioner. It's my first time trying it. And then for the hair, I'm using this hair sent to me by Y Wig. Super soft, bulk braiding hair. It's definitely on the kinky, curly side. And it's already split, separated for you, so you can just pull and go or fluff the pieces as you need them. The hair had no smell. I have it three bundles total, and they give you a good amount per bundle, you guys. So watch to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I use and how much I have left over. I am doing twists today, you guys, but keep in mind when it comes to bulk hair, you do have options as far as how you want to install it, so you're not limited at all. So I am not starting off on freshly washed hair. I only washed my hair a week ago, and my hair still feels really good. So I am adding in extra hair, y'all, with these uh, mini twists from Y Wigs. The hair is really soft, y'all. It's not long, so once you split it in half, you can stretch it, um, but once you split it in half, it's probably going to work out perfectly for my length. Keep in mind, you always have to split it in half, so you don't wanna go by the normal length. So if this is, let's just say 12 inches, the braid is going to be six. Just a little tip out there for you. Also, you guys, depending on the area, so if it's the front of my head, it will probably have a lot more hair in it so that all the thickness is the same. My head kind of just gets fuller as you go back, which happens to a lot of people, so it's not anything new. The middle will have some here and there, and I'll probably add just a few pieces to the back so that it's all cohesive. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started, y'all. All right, you guys, so this go around, I'm really focused on just being really gentle with my hair, um, not doing too much manipulation during this like sectioning process, which is all I'm doing at this point. Um, I am gonna leave a lot more of my edges out. Usually I go ahead and tuck those away with the braid, but I'm not doing it this go around. So after I went on ahead and sectioned everything off, I'm going in with each section with this way leave-in spray. Y'all, this leave-in, I have been dying to try, so I went on ahead and picked it up during the Sephora sale that's going on right now, and I am not disappointed at all. It instantly, first of all, it smells amazing, and y'all, and it instantly softened my hair. I am a fan, I'm a stan. It's gonna be in the rotation from here on out. Other than that, I'm of course just using a little bit of gel, so all I'm doing right here is just parting um, I'm doing two I think I'm doing five rows of two braids each and then just pulling the bulk hair and every piece in the front of my head I basically just split in two to add some thickness to my hair one piece was a little bit too much for me it was gonna end up being too bulky and I don't like that look but of course do as you feel half a piece per braid especially in the front was enough after I twisted all the way down, and I mean all the way, you guys, I just went ahead and curled it with my fingers and then moved on to the next braid. So for the front of my head, um, I told you guys I kind of want a little bit more of my edges out for this look. So one way I do that and still try and keep the look as neat as possible, and also kind of, I'm kind of like wanting the edges to come out a little bit faster than they would have, like over time, if that makes sense. So I just push the hair back back a little bit. I also didn't want the braid right on my hairline. Um, I kind of had like just a different look for this basically. So I just pushed the braid back just a little bit um, and then just add the hair and twist as normal going all the way down. And of course, making sure you add a little bit of gel. With the hair being kinky curly, more on the kinky side and also kind of like pre-fluffing it before I put it in, my hair just went on and just like fit right on in with this. You could not tell a difference. 
um, right here. I just went on ahead and pre-parted the rows that I was doing to make sure everything was even. And then I just went on ahead and just kept braiding as normal. This did not take me long, y'all. Just get into a groove, get, go ahead and pre-part if need be. Also, big tip here, if you have a hard time gripping, watch the amount of gel you are using. I know it's like super popular right now for the girlies to be using a whole bunch of gel um, on their braids or whatever they're doing. And I just don't find it necessary. It can actually give you more scalp issues than you already have or you know irritate the scalp issues that you do have. Um, and also it just makes it a lot harder to grip in my opinion. So. I only use a very small amount of gel, especially at the base, and then just a small amount while I'm braiding all the way down. So if you are unsure if your braids will end up being flat because especially these are short so I don't want them to be short and then like kind of like sticking out I still want a very flat look in the front y'all notice on this particular braid I am not adding any hair um, I will do this very randomly maybe one or two braids per side I think I only did it to two braids per side this go around if I even did that but this just kind of helps with the thickness and also helps to make sure my I, um, the front of my hair those braids are going to lay nice and flat so you can always stagger you don't have to add hair to every single braid or you can do like me and pick one or two braids from each side to not add any hair to something that's in the middle and you should be good and end up with something like this you guys loving the outcome this is exactly why I love to do the front of my hair at first because it gives me a little bit of motivation and I am loving the um, leave-in conditioner with with this hair like everything that I'm doing right here may be my go-to because a whole bunch of product girls ladies gentlemen is just not needed so again you guys here I added hair to this braid however the next braid that you see right here I'm just gonna add a little bit of a gel to it comb it out and then I'm just gonna twist it up as normal again this is just helping to make sure everything stays nice and flat so yeah, y'all just gonna finish up twisting my hair tonight and then we'll get into the finished look and a few other things in just a minute. All right, you guys, so my hair is now complete. This is actually the next day. Can I tell you guys, I have had a day. I have really had a day, but at least I got compliments on my hair because my face was looking cool. Today, I needed to wear makeup and I did not, but my hair was cute, so that's all that matters. And I got compliments at the grocery store and at the doctor's office, so I must have done something right with these twists. So I'm just gonna clean up my ends, I'm gonna lay my edges, and then I'll show you guys some styling options. Then yeah, we'll just finish up this video.
All right, you guys, so I gave you guys a couple looks that you can do with this hairstyle. Y'all, I'm happy with it. I don't have any complaints. If I had to guess, taking my time, I think this took me about three hours to do. I'm gonna try and keep these in as long as possible, you guys. The hair that I used, it was really soft, smells, no anything, and I love the fact that you could just pull the pieces apart. Also, that's what I wanna say, this pack should last you quite a while. If you have multiple heads to do, you could definitely get your head done and somebody else is done. So the way that I ended up doing my hair allowed me to not have to use a whole bunch like my whole three bundles of hair which works because now I have hair left over and I can go ahead and install these again down the line but I'm pretty sure no matter your density you should be fine with two to three bundles of hair as far as going to bed you guys all I do is just put my hair in like a little bun or two buns right on the side and I just put a bonnet on that's it I think one of the keys with keeping your styles in as long as possible is to not go over overboard when it comes to product like make sure your install is as neat as possible and as secure as possible and then when it comes to keeping your hair moisturized you don't want to go overboard with water because that's going to do nothing but make my hair shrink and swell and i'm trying to get as much length as possible right now um and also it could cause some unraveling so just kind of be mindful of that just don't do the most especially if you've already hydrated your hair enough like in the beginning at this point from here on out, it should just be every couple of days. I'm adding a little bit of the leave-in spray, a small amount of oil, and I am good to go. And also not doing the most on your edges, you guys. That's how stuff cakes up so bad. Like I only use this every couple of days. If anything, I'm just going to take my brush, add some water to my brush, the smallest amount, and just reactivate what's already in there and tie it down on the scarf. You do not always need to add product gel, edge control to your edges every single day. That's just gonna cause way more buildup. It's going to basically make your style just not last as long. So I just recommend just reactivating whatever is already in there. But yeah, you guys, that's it. That is it for this video. I hate that we are about to get into fall back time changes because it's getting much darker so sooner. Oh, it feels like it's like seven something and it is definitely not. Oh my goodness. Anyways, you guys, I will put everything that I've used, including the link to this hair down below. Do me a favor, share this video, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Y'all know the drill. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next one.